Hi, uh, this lesson is about um, algorithms, and in particular, two very important computer science concepts. One is procedures with parameters, okay? A parameter can tell the procedure, you know, some information it needs to do its job. In this case, the parameter L is, is for length, and it's telling draw square how big the side should be in the square, okay? Uh, the other thing, the important topic we're going to talk about is repeating. So, we're going to repeat these blocks, in this case, four times, and it really makes your programs, you know, where you can do a lot, you know, millions of things instead of a few things. And also you don't have a bunch of copy pasted blocks all over the place. Okay, so it really makes your programs more elegant. Um, so procedures with parameters and repeat loops. And wh what we're using is this logo program. And it basically you can draw, you know, move this little Android dude around to draw things. So right now I'm drawing a square of size 40. So my phone's projecting on the screen. I'm going to press the draw button. And you'll notice um, it it basically draws a square of um, size 40 with 40 40 pixel sides. Okay, and that's because we put a 40 in here. Now, if I change this thing to 100, so if I change the parameter I send, and this is called the actual parameter. And this so basically this 100 is coming to draw a square, and then draw a square uses it to say how far forward to go. Okay, so I'm going to reset. I'm going to push the reset button, okay, and that blinks out the screen. Now, if I touch draw again, we're going to get a much bigger rectangle, okay. Um, so anyway, much easier to have a parameterized draw square as opposed to having a bunch of draw squares where you have to do things, okay. Um, let's talk about this loop. So this this basically says draw four sides, and every time you draw, turn 90 degrees, okay. Um, so let's let's think about how we could use a similar theme. To, to draw a triangle. Okay, so I'm going to copy this whole procedure. So I'm going to Command C, Command V, and I'm going to bring it over here, and let's just move move our screen over a little bit. And what I want to do is draw a triangle. So I'm going to rename this guy, draw a triangle. Okay, and I still need the length parameter for how how long my sides will be. Um, now I don't want to go four times, right? I'm going to do it three times. All right. So instead of four, I'm going to change that number to three because I want to make three sides. And each time, yeah, I want to move forward whatever L is, okay? But how far do I want to turn? Okay, for a square, I want to turn 90, okay? For a triangle, you know, I'm going to need to turn, you know, 120 every time. Essentially, you know, 360, which is the full rotation, divided by how many, you know, sides I'm going to have in my in my polygon. Okay, so I think this will draw me a triangle with length whatever I send it. So I'm going to change, so this draw function gets called every time I press draw. I'm going to have it call instead of draw square our new draw, draw triangle function. And then I'm going to stick the parameter in for it. Let's just make the sides 50. Okay, and let's see if I get a, a, a triangle now instead of a square. So I'm touching reset on the phone. And that should update that. Now if I touch draw, and let's go ahead and hide the thing, and now I've got my, my triangle. Okay, so you can see the same scheme just by changing how many times we repeat, all right? And then of course, you know, how, how much we turn each time um, before we start moving, um, we can draw different shapes. Okay, let's take this a step further now. As you'll notice, this code's very similar to this code. Maybe we can generalize this further so we could have a, a function that could, that could draw any kind of shape, but, you know, or any kind of polygon, okay? So let's think about a draw polygon function. So I'm gonna grab a new procedure, and I'm gonna drag it up here, and I'm just gonna um, collapse this guy, the draw square. We know, we kinda know what draw square does now, but here's our draw triangle. We'll keep it up just to use it for a model. And I want a procedure called draw polygon. Okay, now in this case, you know, whoops, I think I spelled that wrong. In this case, you know, we want to parameterize the number of sides. We don't want to have a fixed number of sides, like three. We want whoever calls us, whoever calls draw, poly, draw polygon to be able to say how many sides. Okay, so I'm going to actually have two parameters for draw polygon. So I'm just pushing the mutator here and I can specify the parameters for, for the procedure, okay? And I'm going to name these guys, we'll keep L, okay? 
and we'll also have one called sides. All right, so now we've got a very, you know, kind of abstract thing, right? Draw a polygon, tell me the length of each side and how many sides, okay? So what's our code going to look like? Well, I'm going to copy this whole for each loop. So we know it's going to be similar to this, right? We know this three has to go away because we're not always drawing three sides. We don't always want to do this three times. In fact, we want to do this sides times. Right? So if whoever calls this function or this procedure sends in a four, we'll want to do it four times. If they send in a three, three times and and whatever. Okay? So that's that's the number of sides. Now how far do we want to go forward? Yeah, this is this is fine. Okay. But this 120 is also something that's too too specific, right? Really, what do we want to do? And this is where you gotta do a little math. But if you think about it for the triangle, the way we figured out this thing was we divided 360, or sorry, we took 360, a full rotation, and divided it by the number of sides, 3, and we got 120. So I think we can just put that, put that math in. So I'm going to grab a divide block, okay, and I'm going to grab the number 360. Okay, there's 120, but I'm going to change that to 360. And I'm going to divide 360 by the number of sides. All right, so if there was three sides, and let's move this over a little bit. If there was three sides, I would, in fact, it would come out to 120. If there was four sides, if it was a square, this would be 90, just like we had for the draw square. Okay, let's see if this works. So I've got a, I hope, a very generic draw polygon function. So I'm going to call something different here. Let's do draw polygon, and let's actually try to draw a pentagon. Okay, so for pentagon... I want five sides, okay, oops, sorry, five sides, and my length can just be 40, just like we've been doing, okay, so 40 is going to be the length, I want five sides, and what I'm hoping is this code is going to draw me a pentagon of size 40, 40 sides, okay, so I'm going to reset, and I am going to touch the draw button, and there you go. I've got a. I now have a pentagon drawn with with five sides. And of course, I can change this to four. And now I can touch draw. Whoops. Well, there's my there's my uh, square. Let me reset and just draw it again. So there's there's my square. Right. If I change this to three, I get a triangle. So reset draw. Okay, and just for the heck of it, let's let's put an eight in there. So let's draw an octagon. So I can reset, draw, and there's my my octagon. So pretty pretty cool. Um, you know, one could use this draw polygon in for many different things, and and you wouldn't even need to have these various functions to draw particular particular things. So very very important important thing. Okay, so just to, just to summarize, um, with procedures, you want them to be very reusable. You want them to be able to handle you know, different cases and, instead of being very specific. And that way you can use them for different things. And when you think about, you know, people write a bunch of different apps, and your apps could use that same code for, for, for various purposes. So, so reusable code is very important, especially in software engineering. And you'll, you know, as you do more and more code, you'll, it'll be, you'll, you'll see the importance of it. Um, so procedures with, with parameters, that's, that's one very important thing. The other thing we've kind of shown here is using a repeat loop, okay, in this case a for each from to by, okay, which basically lets you do something a number of times. And what this lets you do is instead of copy and pasting something a bunch of times, like for this octagon, we would have had to have eight of these, right? Um, you can parameterize it and, and, and just go through it um, some number of times, in this case eight times, and you just show the blocks once, right? So it's cleaner, uh, but you know you just have to realize that this block is saying do these, in this case eight eight times. And you know one thing that gives us is we can parameterize the number of times to do it, which is what we did with draw draw a polygon. If we would have had four blocks or eight blocks or whatever kind of shape we were doing, there's no way to say oh put seven blocks, right? The only way to do it is to say let's repeat a few blocks a number of times. Okay, so 
uh, repeat loops, also called iteration, is is extremely important in computer science. You know, almost as important or as important as procedures with parameters.